Hi traders, today is Tuesday, February 18th, 2020. This is Roberto. Today's video is on pivot points and the pound. Pound is very strong, so let's go over the strategy. A um, couple of things I use. MACD indicator or crossover MACD, 21 moving average line, pivot points, 200 moving average line. So I look at the 200 moving average line to give me direction. I look for an entry when price breaks above the central pivot point, and then I target the resistance levels R3, R1, depending on the previous support or resistance level from the previous day. And right now on the pound Swiss, the next resistance level is around 128.18. Okay, so again, um, when I open up my charts, the first thing I do is look at the 20, 200 moving average line. Is it above or below price at on a one hour chart? If I switch over to the four hour chart, 200 moving average line is below price. So we are in an uptrend on pound Swiss. Price broke the central pivot point. So that is my entry on a one hour chart, as you can see here. And then I start targeting the swing high. If it closes above yesterday's swing high, then I will re-enter the market and target R3. Now, uh, let me just switch templates so you can see on each day how this works. Um, going all the way back to the 13th. On a one hour chart, price is above the central pivot point. 200 moving average line is below price, so we're in an uptrend and look at this move to the upside. The next day, a retracement, but notice price never broke below the central pivot point, which should continue the uptrend. Then, yesterday, the market did break below the central pivot point, below the 21 moving average line, so this was a correction. And then market finally found support. We're still in an uptrend. The 200 moving average line is showing us an uptrend. It's angled up. So we're still in an uptrend on the pound Swiss. But my entry has to be above the central pivot point. And I took a trade just about 30 minutes ago. So you can see the... Um, let me just show you what I... So I have three trades open. So there it is, okay? Um, let's switch over to the pound Australian dollar. Okay, same thing. Okay. Price is above the 200 moving average line on, the one, on a four hour chart and on the one hour chart, price is above the 21 moving average line and it crossed above the central pivot point, which is my trigger, okay? And I'm targeting 195, that's R3, so I will be exiting this trade in a minute. So let's switch over to a different template and you can see the same thing every day. Historically, pivot points starting from the 13th, price broke above the central pivot point even though the 200 moving average line was above which telling us that the market was still in a downtrend. But if we look at the four hour chart, the 200 moving average line, it's here. So we're still in an uptrend on the four hour chart. And we always favor the higher time frame. So on the one hour chart, all I needed was price to break above the central pivot point and above the 21 moving average line. My MACD indicator, two lines of MACD across to the upside. Finally broke the 200 moving average line on the one hour chart and there's your rally. A bit of a retracement and then yesterday we had a retracement, a deeper retracement, price breaking below the central pivot. I would have taken a short on this position, but knowing that the overall direction of the market is to the upside, I would have exited this trade and this was a trade signal that went out and we exited down here at 193.60 area. Then today I was just waiting for the market to recover. To close above the central pivot point, I entered the trade a bit late because I got up late, but we're still up um, 52 pips on this trade, and we're going to exit at the R3 level. So again, price is above the 200 moving average line. 
breaks above the central pivot point and breaks above the 21 moving average line, that's considered to be an uptrend bullish sentiment for that day. Yesterday, we had a bearish sentiment, so we would be selling below the central pivot point and buying above the central pivot point. Let's do one more. Pound dollar was in a downtrend. Um, broke below the central pivot point. Let's go to the template. Notice yesterday price broke below the central pivot point, below the 21 moving average line, but we're still in an uptrend based on the 200 moving average line. So we know this is just a retracement. It's not a reversal. As soon as price recovers, breaks above the central pivot point, above the 21 moving average line, make sure the 200 moving average is below price, and there's your trade. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just sign up, email me. Um, we have several strategies that I teach, so you can take your trade to the next level. Have a good trading week. Thanks for watching.